new sunscreen day. <laughs> this is the Beauty of Josen Ginseng Moist. Oh, is that a word? Why is that a word that we're using? Sun serum. I do love a sun serum. Um, typically I love a mineral sunscreen, but I also love a sun serum. So I'm just gonna test this one out. This one's new by Beauty of Josen, SPF 50, PA and four pluses. Um, it comes in a pump, of course. Let me pull my head back, hair back. This is an all chemical sunscreen. Um, I've got my phone turned the opposite direction I normally do. <laughs> I look over here, it's throwing me off. Uh, I do have, the only skincare I have on my face this morning is the Matcha Biome Toner by Hamish, which I'm halfway through. Loving, it's a hydrating toner. Let's try it out. I'm expecting it to be very, oh, it's not as liquidy <laughs> as I thought. It's kind of a clear, yellowy color. Um, and it's not, it's not, it's not liquidy. It's not like the typical serum that I normally see. Okay, let's see how this goes. I'm expecting it to be thin. It does have a slight scent, but that might just be the smell of the chemical, like the natural fragrance of the chemicals in the, in the bottle. I'll have to look. I'll give you all the details, all the juicy details in the wrap up because I plan to use this for a week. And then I come back at the end of this video and tell you how it wore. I am not going to put this around my eye area. I need to check the ingredients because I'm a little bit worried. I, I have sensitive eyes and sometimes chemical sunscreens mess with my eyes. So. And I'm already dealing with allergies this morning, so I don't wanna, I don't need any more eye issues. I already have a sunscreen on my neck. I use the Hemp's Sweet Pineapple and Honey Melon. I love this so much as a body sunscreen that I have through, Three, I have three containers of it now. One in my purse, one in the bathroom, and one for the rest of the family <laughs> that we can all use and reapply throughout the day. So um, always make sure you get your ears. All right, I'm gonna let this dry down for 10 minutes. I still have some on my hands. For 10 minutes, and then I'll be back and we'll see if it dried down or if it's gonna remain this glowy finish. We are headed to get our passports this morning so hopefully that goes well because I haven't had a passport since I was 17 <laughs> okay it's been 11 minutes and as you can see it is still glowy so this is not the type of formula that I prefer I don't I'm not I'm not a glowy girl I'm a naturally glowy girl so I like to tone the glow down but I it feels fantastic on my face it does feel like it hasn't completely set down, but that might be because I am I don't have dry skin. So this might really work well for dry for those of you with dry skin, and it might work better for me in colder weather. Today it's very humid. I'm in South Carolina. <laughs> right now it's like 65 degrees outside, um, but I can feel the humidity inside. So I'm gonna put my Misha BB cream on top, which is not a matte foundation. It is neutral, leaning, glowy. Um, but then I'll try and tone it down with some matte powder and I'll come back and let you know how this sits on top of it. And then I'll check back in with you in two hours and we'll see how it wore under foundation. So I'll be back. Hi, it's a three hour check-in. Okay, maybe like two and a half hour check-in. <laughs> uh, we just got home from getting our passports, which is a long process for four people. And my husband had to go back and forth between the house because evidently we need our marriage license as well. As you can see, my face is still glowy. I don't think it looks bad at all. Lots of people prefer my face with a, with a glow and glowy skin is in as we know. I did use a matte powder under my Misha BB cream. So I'm gonna continue trying this out for a full week. I'll test it under a couple other foundations and by itself possibly. And then I'll report back. So what you'll see next are my final thoughts. Okay, it's another day. <laughs> it's the next day. Um, I put on, if I can find, is there some sun here? <laughs> I put on my Westman Atelier 
uh, matte foundation on top of the serum foundation, and I think it looks so pretty. So I wanted to let you know that it did well with a matte foundation, not just a glowy, dewy one. And I didn't put any uh, matte powder on top either. I also didn't put any skincare underneath the serum because I felt like it was enough moisture for my skin. So I just want to hop on and say that. Final thoughts on this gorgeous, nourishing sun serum. Surprisingly, I really enjoyed this. By the end of the week, I didn't want to stop using it and I wore it all during while I was sick. You can probably still hear the head cold. <laughs> I was in bed a lot. I didn't leave the house much. I just wanted a little moisture on my face and some sunscreen, and I was wearing this, and it was so nourishing, lightweight, didn't feel greasy, surprisingly, did not feel greasy, and I absolutely loved it. I even wore this out of the house to the grocery store with just some light makeup on. Fantastic, no issues, even though it's a glowy sunscreen, and I don't prefer a glowy sunscreen. Oh, before I forget, hi, I'm Sean, Melanoma Mom. Subscribe to my channel if you like to watch sunscreen reviews because I do a lot of them and I would love to have you join my community. Thanks. Let me give you some more details of this. This is a Korean sunscreen. It does come in a pump as you can see. You get, how many fluid ounces is this? 1.69 fluid ounces, standard, for about $17, give or take. I got this off of YesStyle. I will leave a discount code on the screen because when you order through a company like YesStyle or StyleVanya, you know you're getting the authentic product, whereas Amazon, it's hit or miss. <laughs> So sometimes I link the Amazon ones down below if I'm sure that it came from the brand website. But if you just search for it your own, sometimes you'll find other sellers and get inauthentic uh, sunscreens. So I don't want you doing that. <laughs> so use my discount, it is affiliate code. I do get a little kickback, but it helps me make, it's, it's just a few cents, but it helps me purchase sunscreen. So thank you if you use any of my affiliate codes. Okay, here is my final thoughts on this. Glowy finish, lightweight, nourishing, non-greasy, absorbs quickly. I tested this under all three of my foundations. My Misha BB Cream, which is a natural leaning glowy foundation. My um, Westman Atelier Matte Sunscreen Stick. And my Toady CC Cream, which is a very matte. It also worked great on its own, even though I'm not typically a glowy girl. This was nice. The glow does settle down throughout the day, I feel like. It's all chemical sun UV filters, SPF 50, it is not water resistant, so this is great for everyday use, but not water or activities where you will be sweating a lot. And it does have 2% niacinamide in it, which is great for evening out your skin tone and helping retain moisture. So do I recommend this one? Yes, if you like a glowy sunscreen for under $20, pick this one up. It's fantastic, I have no complaints. I'm gonna finish this one up. Today is a great day to wear sunscreen. I'll see you in the next one.